Despite what the fuzzy thinkers say, these are just machines, folks. They can't feel, can't grow, can't learn any differently than a decent computer. And like computers, they have no rights. Why? Because you can't program a soul. And without a soul, these mechanical puppets have no place in a just, moral, human world. If the late, great Senator John Thornton had not been so tragically assassinated, I am sure he would agree when I say the only good android is a dismantled android. I'm Gerald Rhodes, and that's the last word. <clears throat> Mr. Smith. You're perfectly safe. No one has seen us. Mr. Smith. No way. Who says? Bascom. Well, you know, I put my heart and soul and a lot of overtime into this case. And I'm sure you'll get a nice Christmas bonus. Yeah, right. In the meantime, you can discuss your new case with your new client. He's waiting for you in the conference room. Please extend him your full cooperation as per Bascom's request. What if I say no? You get fired as per Bascom's orders. This is a joke, right? I am not programmed for humor, Cardigan. And even if I were, I currently have no time for banter. Let's get down to business. If Metro's looking for a PI to do grunt work, you're talking to the wrong guy. This does not concern Metro. In fact, I have temporarily taken leave from the force. I'm hiring you as a private citizen, from my own funds. So you're gonna be my client? You, personally? I need you to find something which was stolen from me. You're an android, remember? You don't own property, you are property. Bascom assured me you would be cooperative. Well, Bascom should have talked to me first. I hope a vid call to your employer will not be required. What do you need me for, huh? For a simple lost and found case? Not so simple. Without your assistance, I will soon cease to function. You're dying? In human terms, yes. This is the component that was stolen. My cortical relay unit. CRU to those in the know. It regulates android motor skills, memory, and reasoning processes. Without it, my mind would eventually deteriorate and overload. 
Well, I guess you can't just run down your local hardware store and pick up a new one. 1,600 neural subprocessors suspended in a semi-organic crystal matrix. Not exactly an off-the-shelf item. Besides, the Thornton Act outlawed the production of new androids and of replacement CRUs. Huh. Can't sneak this one by in your expense report, can you, Winger? If my superiors found out, they would deactivate me immediately. Current department policy is to phase out all androids. Winger is the last automated police unit left in the district. So without your CRU, how much time before you... you no know? more than 18 hours. You got a problem. My assailant was an android. The most probable explanation is that his own CRU malfunctioned, and he stole mine to survive. There's other possibilities. I mean, even you put a few people away in the freezer. Somebody might have been trying to do you in. If the intent had been to eliminate me, I doubt I would be talking to you now. We're looking for a thief, Cardigan. Most likely an android who has been looking for a CRU himself. Well, let's start in Andytown. As good a place as any. Good. You have always had a variety of contacts there. And you don't? You mean even your own kind can't stand you? My function is to enforce the law, not to engage in popularity contests. How are you feeling there, Winger? I'm not programmed for feeling, only for interpreting data. Right now, the data is not good. Did you hear Rhodes on the vid last night? The only good android is a dismantled android. What a load. Who do the humans think will do the rotten jobs nobody else wants? Did they already forget who built Mars Colony? And how many androids died there? I can tell you this. If anybody is going to be dismantled, it won't be me. Thanks. For a minute, I was afraid those two were going to buy another round. You don't think androids have the right to voice their opinions? Not when they chase away paying customers. A stench in here is overloading my olfactory circuit. Perhaps your olfactory circuit is in need of adjustment. If you wish, I'll adjust it for you. Let it go, Winger. Follow my lead, will you? Jake Cardigan, I knew you were going to come waltzing back into my place someday. Lucinda. I have the damnedest luck. Well, good to see you too. <laughs> What's it going to be this time? Another undercover operation? Last one put me out of business for six months. I'm sorry. Yes, in a word, you are. Now, what do you want? We need information. This is Lieutenant... Lieutenant Winger, Metro. If you choose not to cooperate, there could be repercussions. Nice badge. What's it supposed to mean? That you're better than the rest of us? Take a seat. Rest your servos. Huh? Go, now. Well, believe it or not, he's a client. Somebody stole the CRU. Even Winger doesn't deserve that. Well, you know Winger? I've heard about him. But what android hasn't? Well, have you heard about anybody that needs a CRU? I said I felt sorry for him. I didn't say I'd help him. That's cold. That's Winger. What about me, Lucinda? You owe me. I owe you, Zip. Oh, really? Who was it that helped you get your blue card? And Andy came in here yesterday, asking about CRUs. Name's Dennison. Where it is he works for Zeidler Manufacturing. This mean we're even, Cardigan? Means I owe you. I'll remember that. Where? Come on. Is it really that easy for you, Lucinda, to give up one of your own without any qualm? Don't start with the politics again. I'm not in the mood. And when will you be? The day the separationists have us placed in quarantine camps? 
or the day Rhodes and his crowd have us all deactivated. They can't touch me. I have my blue card. I own this bar. You own nothing. You are nothing. The day the humans decide you're junk, you're junk. And trust me, when that day comes, your human friend will not stand beside you. Lieutenant Winger! Don't tell me Metro sent you to investigate the illegal employment of androids. Or are you after something bigger? Gerald Rhodes, right? You're a fan. Seen your show. <laughs> Brings you out in the daylight. I've been tipped that uh, Zeigler's in violation of the Thornton Act. Half his Andes don't have blue cards. I'm trying to angle an interview, but... Well... <sighs> Quid quo pro, Lieutenant. What brings you and your friend down here? Who says we're friends? Oh, come off it, Winger. I know you're in charge of the Thornton investigation. Any progress? No comment. No comment or no progress? Stay out of the way, huh? Any truth to the rumors that a rogue Andy killed the senator? As you said yourself, Mr. Rhodes, those are rumors. Get off it. John Thornton was the finest, most pro-human senator on the Hill. He introduces legislation to ban androids and bang! He's found dead. Every bone in his body broken. You don't smell mech all over there? I find the term mech offensive. Let's go. Trust me, friend. The day will come when you'll regret having met Lieutenant Winger. That's news? A little hot under the collar there, didn't you, Winger? I am programmed to adapt to certain human emotions. Oh, uh-huh. And you're programmed not to tell me about the Thornton case? It is neither relevant nor proper for me to discuss that case with you. Relevant? Winger, I'm working for you, remember? There is no conclusive evidence Senator Thornton was killed by an android, nor is there any connection between that case and my own. We are looking for a thief, plain and simple. Pro-humans are yelling for my blood. Androids steal jobs, they say. Now, I've got Central Services auditing my files and scanning my permits. Given today's political climate, no Andes need apply. You're saying that you don't have any androids working in your methane chambers or on your plasma drills? I never said I had no mechanicals on the payroll. I just steer clear of the hardbacks, the undocumenteds. Well, the meth chambers are pretty rough. What happens when your androids start falling apart? I take good care of my mechs. If they need an adjustment or a new part, it's first class all the way. And where do you get those new parts from? Authorized dealers or some other source? <laughs> There's an android named Dennison. We want to talk to him, ask him a few questions. It's on the floor, working the laser saw. Jennison. I'm Lieutenant Winger. This is Jake Cardigan. What's this about? A missing CRU. Did you hear me, Dennison? We know you've been looking for a CRU. Brewster sent you. Brewster? Is that who's supposed to get you your new CRU? I paid for it. Give it to me. Wait a minute. Not until you answer a few questions. Who's Brewster? Where can we find him? Stop playing games. I paid 10,000 credits for it. Hang it over! No! Holy! Freeze! Take it easy. Take it easy, Dennison. Take it easy. We can help you now. Calm down. Put it down. Now. Is 
CRU has been removed. Thanks for saving my butt back there. It's my job. Besides, I still need you to find my cortical relay unit and to do one other thing. What other thing? In less than 12 hours, I may be, like Denison, a threat to public safety. This will terminate an android. If necessary, use it. Do you have a problem with that? I'm just a machine, remember? Nika, scan the name Brewster for me and cross-reference against Bunko, black marketeering, and illegal android activity. Scanning as we speak. Anything else you wanted to check out, Winger? Winger? Winger! You still with me? I am continuing to deteriorate, but I am functioning adequately at the moment. There is no immediate need to dispatch me. I will try to give you warning before it's time. Well, that's a comfort. Okay, I have a possible here. One Diane Brewster, small-time crook, fencing, fraud, and petty larceny. Her target of choice, undocumented androids. We wish to speak with Diane Brewster. You guys, cops. Well, we're not your fairy godmother. You got a warrant? Nope. Then Miss B don't have the time. Now, where were we? You took money from an android named Denison for a cortical relay unit. Where is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Get the hell out of here. I'd go easy on him if I were you, ma'am. Last time I saw him lose control like that. Very messy. Oh, you want to see messy? Wait till my lawyer gets through with you. He's very touchy about tobacco. You should ask him about the penalty for possession. Now, where's the unit that you were going to sell Denison? Ben! Look, I don't have the unit, okay? Now turn him loose. <laughs> Denison heard I picked up a CRU for another Andy last year. Hired me to score one for him. When were you supposed to make the delivery? Never. I lost track of my source a long time ago. Nobody up there is dealing Andy parts, not these days. So you just took Dennison's money and you just left him to die? Oh, what was he going to do? Report me? I didn't break any laws. Android's got no rights. Who's your source? Who sold you that CRU last year? Biochemist, name of Frank Haley. Winger. Winger. Come here. Haley was a minor league tech chemist. He died in a raid six months ago. Sorry about the door. I have checked it out, Jake. Upside down, backwards, and sideways. Brewster was being straight when she said no one deals in android parts these days. Guys like Gerald Rhodes have made it a very unpopular thing to do. Well, if Haley can make a CRU, then how come somebody else can't? We're talking about synthetic enzymes, like nilidium. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find that stuff? I don't care how hard it is. Winger needs a biochemist. No. What, do you mean you're not interested in saving your own life? I am a police officer. I will not commit an illegal act. Then what do we go to Brewster's for? You mean if she had the CRU, you wouldn't have taken it? My thoughts are no longer clear. It is unpleasant to be like this. It is not fair. You know how old I am, Cardigan? Nine years, five months, and three days. I was one of the first public service androids. I do what I'm programmed to do, and I do it well. Is it right that I be allowed to deteriorate and cease functioning? Jake, when you said you owed me one... I meant it. 
I've got a situation here. Look. When can you get here? We're on our way. Now, here's something else the Andy lovers don't want you folks at home to see. But they don't want you to know that when one of these mechs gets out of control, only another mech can stop it. In this case, <laughs> Lieutenant Winger. Oh, get out of here! Metro PD's favorite mechanical cop. Pardon my language, folks, but Andy's are just too damn dangerous. They have to be banned for the public good. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. guys like to see me reprogram this mech? Not particularly. Let her go. Now. now. Before you go blasting away, remember this is an android. Law enforcement model, heavy armor. Hard to stop. Gotta hit him in exactly the right spot. <laughs> Think about it. You that good a shot? Like the lady said, the bar is closed. Gentlemen, drinks are on the house. Apparently drinks are all over the house. Oh, are you trying to make a joke there, Winger? Yes, I suppose I am. How'd I do? You might be better off without that ship. I think that should... Sit down. I usually stay out of the political stuff. But truth is, Dennison was into android rights. Anything specific? He was trying to organize the Andes who work at Zeidler's. Do you think Zeidler stole Dennison's CRU to make an example of him? Considering Zeidler's rep, it's possible. Last thing Zeidler needs is more grief. Why risk having Dennison freak out in his factory? I suggest we go ask him. Not tonight, you won't. You're coming with me. Well, Lieutenant Sam Houston. Metro's finest. Cop's cop. My favorite cop, anyway. Oh, you trying to flatter me, Cardigan, or just get on my nerves? No, oh, come on. Is that any way to greet a pal? Hey, my pals don't roam all over town with an AWOL android harassing innocent civilians. Seidler's filed a complaint. All right, take it easy, Sam. Just take it easy, okay? You don't have all the facts. Cardigan. Tell her nothing. Tell me nothing about what? Well, <clears throat> have you ever heard of a cortical relay unit? Somebody stole wingers. I'm sorry. But I've still got to take you. And then what? And then what, huh, Sam? They give him a fair hearing? Or do they just dismantle him? Come on, cut us a little slack here, will you? Just give me a little time to find a CRU. Look, I wish I could. But thanks to Zygler, the kitchen's getting really hot. Now, we've got to go. Wait. But don't make this uglier than it already hey, is. what's ugly, Sam, is that you're not going to give it a chance. Winger. Place your hands in the restraints. That's an order. Put your hands up. Both of you. Get down. On the floor now. Oh, get out of here. You're making a big mistake, Lucinda. That's my worry, isn't it? They'll find us. I have a beacon implanted in my leg. They think I don't know it's there. 
You should have had it removed a long time ago. I have no right to alter or damage police property. As long as you think of yourself as property, you'll have no rights at all. You're beginning to sound like a radical. More like someone who started to think. Finally. Come on. I have an idea. <clears throat> Any sign of them? God, he got away. Probably halfway to New Rome by now. More like six blocks away, moving west. Every android police has a homing beacon. Department policy. Oh, gee. What makes me think that Winger was never told about this? Hey, how many human officers have tracker implants? You have one? You ever heard of the term Pinocchio syndrome, Jake? Oh. It's a term used by police psychs for cops who start seeing Andes as people. They are just machines, you know. Okay. You're going to tell me that if Winger dies, you're not going to feel anything? Hey, you know, it's just got a little longer. Jake, reality check. Whatever he is and however we feel about him, Winger is a walking time bomb. Hey, not if we find him. We put him in a good place. You and me, we find a CRU. Come on, we're a good team, Sam. Proven commodity. My boss finds out about this. I'm carne muerta. Sometimes a career change can be just what the doctor ordered. Oh, is that supposed to make me feel better? Come on, come on. In here. These containers will block the beacon. They won't be able to track us. The homing beacon is located in the bipedal power junction next to the anterior relay. I'm a bartender, Winger, not a biomechanic. Speak English. It's the gray colored device with the red emitter. Signal's breaking up. Something's causing interference. Let me see it. Oh, nothing like a man's touch. I could not have survived without your help. I bet that was difficult to say. I have seldom needed assistance. No, I guess not. You're the cop's cop. The android's android. All you need is your job. Before. Not now. Now that I'm facing termination, the possibility of no longer doing what I was designed to do, I am strangely haunted. What has my life meant? Will it matter that I ever existed? One homing beacon. Where are you going? To put our pursuers off the scent and to make a call. I know someone who might be able to help. You should smile more often, Lieutenant Winger. Anything? No, static, interference, a headache. You know, your two hours are almost up. Hey, we still got some time left. Not much. Winger goes rogue, kills somebody. You really want that on your conscience? 20 more minutes, okay? If we don't get a line on him by then... Then, then... I call for that. That was quick. When a friend calls for help, I don't waste time. What do you need? Take this away. As far away as you can. Then call Holman. Ask him to close up the bar for me. I don't know when I'll be back. Anything else? Yes. Perform a miracle. Find out who stole Winger's CRU. Why? He's always opposed us. Why help him? Because he's one of us. And he's dying. I see no reason to risk my life to save his. Then all your talk of android solidarity meant nothing. Winger is fortunate to have you for a friend. I'll contact you as soon as I have something. I won't forget this, Norris. Heads up. We're back in business. Looks like he's heading north. Well, it looks like he's heading back to the bar. 
I don't hire illegals. Other than that, I have no comment. And what about the android that went berserk no in your comment. factory today? No comment. Again. It's only me, Holman. I came to warn you. The cops are making a sweep through Andy Town. So? I know you ran away from your last owner, and you don't have a blue card, not even a work permit. If they catch you, they'll dismantle you. Not without a fight, they won't. I'm tired of being afraid. I'm tired of hiding. Stay here, stay hidden. I'll try to find a way to get you out of town before they find you. Thank you, Norris. No doubt about it. Zyler runs the Andy that attacked Winger. You're sure? I talked to the android in question myself. Or well, let's just say I made him talk. And Winger's CRU? At Zyler's factory, locked up in his safe. I must go now. It all fits. Zeidler exploited android labor. He opposed Senator Thornton. And used one of his android workers to kill him. And to steal my CRU. Just to make sure I would never solve the case. He won't get away with it. I'll find your CRU. I will accompany you. You're in no shape. Stay here. I have very little time left. I do not want to spend it waiting. We've been ahead. the combination we don't need one it's yours it has my code number and it's dead and so am I Zeidler. Mr. Zeidler, this is Lieutenant Winger. There's been a problem at your factory. Would you please meet me there? Winger's beacon. Where is he? Come on, talk to us, will you? We're trying to help him. Now, you know anything about Android first aid? I wish I did. I do. I've shut down his motor functions until we can get him some help. 
What about Winger? He's lured Zeidler into a trap. Where? The factory. He's coming apart, Jake. He's got very little time left. I can't raise Zeidler. Well, I'd hope we can get to that factory for him. Winger? What is it? What do you want? A life for a life, Zeidler. You took my life. I take yours. You're a cop. You can't kill me. I got rights. That is correct. As a human being, you have certain inalienable rights. You have the right to an attorney. You have the right to a fair trial. You have the right to own property. You have the right not to be property. I have read you your rights. Do you understand them? Yes, yes, I understand. No! You do not. If you did, you wouldn't have destroyed Denison. Or me. To you, we're just androids. Andes. Mechs. Slaves. Property to be bought, sold, and deactivated. Well, this piece of property is about to deactivate you. Where? No. Get out. Put it down, Winger. I said get out! Not so fast. You're trespassing. I have reason to believe there's a big story going on in there. No me importa. Stay out. You know, I really hate to miss this story. Whatever it is you found, Zeidler's not the one. He had my unit stolen. Then he destroyed it. And he put it in his safe so you can find it? That makes sense to you? You would say anything to save a fellow human. You're the one I'm trying to save. You don't give a damn about me, Cardigan. You hate me as much as I hate you. I can't deny that. But I hate the kind of cop you are, Winger. That's what I hate. You're inflexible. You're narrow-minded. And you've never accepted that playing it right doesn't always mean playing it by the book. But you are a cop. Sworn to uphold the law. And the last thing you're gonna do is shoot me down in cold blood. You place too much faith in my programming. Maybe. But you know what? Whoever it was that stole your CRU. You kill me, they win, and you lose. And you're too damn stubborn to let that happen. I am not stubborn. Just determined. Touching. Not exactly what I was looking for. What exactly were you looking for, Rhodes? Footage of a rogue android tearing a human apart? Folks would sit up and take notice. Well, I bet you got a lot of mileage out of Denison. Going nuts. Lucky for you, huh? Always show up just at the right time. At least they'll have footage of the aftermath. When the cops show up, they'll find one dead police lieutenant and one dead Cosmos operative. Both murdered by a killer Andy. Aye. Which gets you what? Higher ratings? Or a shot at the late Senator Thornton's seat? He 
You took him out, didn't you? Hey, Thornton was murdered by an android. Do I look like a mech? No. What about this big guy? Why? The handwriting is on the wall, my friend. When the time comes, I will still be functioning while the rest of you are on the scrap heap. What makes you think you'll be safe then? Enough talk. Do it. Cardigan. Hang in there, Winger. Hang in there. Winger. Give it up, Jake. It's over. Ain't over till it's over. A splitting headache. The revelation that Gerald Rhodes employed an android to commit a series of brutal crimes has stunned the nation and demoralized the pro human movement. Android supporters are now demanding the repeal of the Thornton Act. Petitions are being filed across the country. Starting right here. How are you doing on signatures? The response has been underwhelming. Not many humans have been willing to sign. Well, you got two live ones right here. Where's that petition? Gardigan. Winger. How you feeling? Not well. I'm currently facing more disciplinary charges after spending one day on the street with you than I have accrued in the past nine years. You're so much sweeter when you didn't have a CRU. I came to say your assistance was invaluable. If you ever require mine, please contact me. Hell, I might contact you even if I don't require assistance. That would be acceptable. Well, speaking of acceptable, let's talk to Nika. She says you've got a problem with the Cosmos bill? That's correct. I will not pay it until certain items on your expense account are clarified. They're all legitimate. Ten credits for a single lunch? Well, the guy's got to eat. What's more, your mileage has been greatly inflated, as has the amount for vid messages. Further... Winger! Yes. Welcome back. 